entertainment, sports, politics, and money. Now, in, in sports, Los Angeles Lakers, they pulled out a, uh, a victory last night. You know, Lakers are, tink are tinkering around, you know, 500. So I really can't go too much in with the Los Angeles Lakers because, you know, they, they sometimes they'll win one game, lose three, you know. And right now, that Anthony Davis trade, watching Anthony Davis play last night, and then for whatever reason, they took him out. Well, not for whatever reason, but the reason that they, they're, they're managing his minutes. And he's still under contract. So I'm wondering, are they going to try to move him this summer? Not sure about that, but they should have pulled the trigger. Because Dale Demps, you know, hindsight is 2020. Now, now Magic Johnson is the general manager of the Lakers. Okay. And then Dale Demps, brother, is the general manager or was the general manager for the New Orleans Pelicans. But after the trade line uh deadline and no moves was made. And all the speculation about all these players that they was trying to uh, move uh, off the Lakers. And a lot of us were pretty much you know, on the fence on that because we, we like these young players. We want to see this young talent. But to get a player like Anthony Davis and, you know, the narrative, you need uh, two or more superstars uh, to win in this league, which is, 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 is uh, coming into fruition, is, is coming to be true. But by them not pulling the trigger, I think uh, in hindsight being 2020, uh, I think Dale, Dave, Dale, um, the general manager, he should have uh, pulled the trigger because he lost his job. And his, uh, Dale Dips is his name, D-E-M-P-S. He lost his job. So he went from a general manager being an executive in the National Basketball Association, playing games with Magic Johnson. And for whatever reason, he did not pull the trigger after the photo shoot of trading three Laker youngsters uh, start surfacing and he didn't pull the trigger. So I'm sure he's, 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 he's thinking about that and wondering, you know, why didn't he pull the trigger or if somebody was in his ear. See, usually when they get the brothers in control, see, you know, as a black man, we don't want to make that mistake and we don't want to uh, look foolish because we had to work so hard to get there. But when things don't come into play and you've been advised, you know, maybe you're the fall guy, not sure about what, you know, what that situation is. But at the end of the day, hindsight being 2020, I think he should have pulled the trigger. And I'm going to put my Stephen A. Smith hat on today if I had one and say that insiders were saying that the Lakers was not trying to give up the entire team. They basically gave it an option. You could pick two players outside of LeBron James, just two players and two first round draft picks this year and the next year. And he should have pulled that trigger because he still would have a job. And if he had got fired after that trade was made, then he could have sued the organization for the rest of his monies. 